everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Jane. So today's video is a tutorial on how to make a t-shirt. Is the t-shirt from my latest sewing pattern, the Nell t-shirt dress. It has three options, maxi dress, the waist length version, the hip length version, and the bonus t-shirt. So today's tutorial is how to make the t-shirt. So this is the t-shirt tutorial. So obviously you're going to need the pattern. So the link for the pattern is in the description box below. So you just need to download the pattern, choose your size, and then you can follow along with me. So let's, let's get going. going to be making I've, I've just been using some actually same fabric as this t-shirt I've got on actually this is not the Nell t-shirt um, so yeah I'm just using some scraps that I've got to make myself another t-shirt so all you're going to need is the cuffs two cuff pieces then you've got the neckband which is cut on the fold and then you're going to have your two sleeves. And then you're going to have your front. And then you're going to have your back. That, and that's all you need for the T-shirt. So I've obviously I've been using my leftover jersey fabrics. Brilliant for using up your scraps. Uh, but you don't have to do different colours. You can just do the one colour T-shirt. So I've got my cuffs and my main body of the t-shirt in this gorgeous um, seafoam green. And then I've got my sleeves and my neckband in this contrasting floral, pretty floral number. So I'm gonna be making everything on the overlocker today, but you don't have to use the overlocker. You can use your sewing machine with a zigzag stitch, lightning stitch, or you can even use a straight stitch by using the Maraflex, I think it's Guterman Maraflex thread, which is like a flexible thread, and you can stitch with straight stitch as well. Uh, if you're new to sew my jersey, you can also use your walking foot, which will help your machine feed your fabric through, but I'm gonna be doing everything on the overlocker, apart from the gathering stitches for the sleeve, and I'll just be doing those, the gathering stitches on my normal machine. So obviously you need to choose your size, print out, cut out your size, choose your fabrics, cut out your pieces, and you should have your pieces ready to go like me. So first things first, I'm going to be sewing my front pieces to my back. So I'm going to lay out my pieces. So I'm going to lay out my back piece with the right side up, and then I'm going to put the front right side down. So obviously right sides together, and I'm going to be pinning shoulder seams and then the side seams and I'm just going to overlock or stitch along the seams. So let's do some pinning. sides together so I'm going to pin that and I'm also going to pin my cuffs ready so I can take it all over to the machine so there's our cuffs ready to sew and then I'm going to also take the neckband sides together and fold it in half. I'm going to sew across there as well, so I'm going to pin that. And the seam allowance is one centimetre throughout. So let's go over to the machine and sew up these seams.
Okay, so we've got the neckband stitched. We've got both our cuffs stitched and we've got the body of the t-shirt all sewn together. So I'm just going to trim off any loose threads. Okay, so I'm going to go on to the neckband. So for the neckband, we need to quarter the neckband and we need to quarter the neck, the neck uh, line of the t-shirt. So to do that, we have a notch in the back, a notch centre front. So there are half halfway notches and we need to find the quarter notches. So what you need to do, the shoulder seams are not the quarter, the quarter notches, so don't be fooled. You just need to pull your t-shirt apart like so. So you've got your centre front notch there and then you've got your centre back notch there. And we're going to fold the two points over, so put them together. And these are now your quarter points. So you can either put a little snip in. So you've got one there and you've got the layer underneath, little snip, or you can pop a pin in, whichever, or a marker, pen marker, erasable pen. And then when you open up your T-shirt, you will have your four points. So I'll pop a pin in so you can see. So we've got one there. We've got our centre front notch there. We've got the other quarter point there and then we've got our centre back notch there so it is now in quarters so you need to do that first before you put your neckband on so now we've got our neckband and we're going to do the same thing so the seam is our going to be our centre back so we just need to fold it in half and we can pop a notch in at the halfway point so just a snip there and then we're going to fold it over again. I'm going to fold it to the stitching line, not the edge of the fabric, because obviously that is the seam line. So I'm just going to fold it to there to find my quarter point again. And there are our quarter points. So just a little snip through both layers. And then we're going to fold our neckband in half. Now I like to just snip in the middle without cutting all the way through my stitching, like so. So you can put one that side and one the other side, and then when you fold them over, you don't have as much bulk. I'm just gonna pop a pin in there, and then If your jersey is a little bit curly then you can just give it a quick press and there's my quarter notch there and then I've got my centre front notch there and my other quarter notch is there and you only really need four pins in I don't know why I put that one in there. You only need four pins in, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of a press. We're going to line up raw edges and right sides together, so we're going to use our seam as our back. Uh, to go towards the back so it's going to line up with the back notch so we're going to put the first one directly where our notch is and then we're going to pin the quarter notch to correspond with the quarter notch that we've already got on there so we're just going to pop that there And then we're going to attach our centre front. And 
and again with the final quarter notch that we've got. So you'll find that your neckband is smaller than your neckline and that's how it's meant to be it's because you're going to gently pull on the neckband to create some tension and some stretch as you sew it to the t-shirt you don't want your neckband to be the same width uh, circumference as your t-shirt opening because then it would be too gapy so you need some tension some stretch on your neckband so if you're wondering why your neckband is quite a bit smaller that's why and that's right that's correct just like that so now we're going to go over to the overlocker and or your machine we're going to sew it on again one centimeter seam allowance as we saw we're not going to pull the t-shirt as we saw we're going to be pulling on the neckband as we saw and it will just fit you will find it will just fit as you stretch the neckband we're not going to stretch the t-shirt so let's go over to the sew machine and sew and sew the neckband on Right, so I'm over at the over, I'm over at the overlocker. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly what it is I'm trying to show you, so you have a good, better idea of how to insert your neckband. So we're starting at the back, the sit where the seam is. And I've just lifted my foot, regardless whether you're on your overlocker or your sewing machine. And I'm just going to place the neckband just under the foot. And I'm just going to gradually stitch on to the neckband. And I'm obviously going to remove my pin. And I've got my neckband and I've got obviously the neckline there obviously the neckband needs to be pulled gently pulled to fit into this section I'm going to leave that quarter pin in place and I'm just going to pull the neckband not the t-shirt so just gently pull the neckband and gently pull and I'm just going to pop my seam towards the back and I'm just gently easing on the neckband stitching a little bit and then gently pulling a little bit more and then pulling a little bit more and you'll find it all fits perfectly and I'll come to the first quarter point pin so I'm going to remove that pin and we're going to do exactly the same gently pulling the neckband remove the pin and till we get to the center front pin so don't panic if you think your t-shirt's bigger than your neckband, that's correct. So I'm just going to gently pull again. Remove my pin, stitch a little bit. Stitch a little bit, then just pull your neckband a little bit more. Stitch a little bit. Just do it in stages. Stretch the neckband. Just make sure my edges are all neat and lining up. And I'm just going to be back to where I started. So I'm just going to gradual, just make sure I stitch across evenly and catching everything and then off there and we have got our neckband stitched on so let's go back to the cutting table okay so we're back the cutting table and i'm just going to quickly press my neckline
there you have your neckband and I'm just going to finish mine off with my cover stitch I'm just going to stitch top stitch all the way around just to finish it off and then give it a nice press now obviously if you don't have a cover stitch you just you, like I said before you can just use your zigzag stitch or your lightning stitch or twin needle whichever is your preferred method but I'm going to use my stitch. going to put the t-shirt to one side and work on the sleeve so we've already prepared our cuffs earlier so they're all stitched so we can fold these wrong sides together and again I'm going to do what I did with the neckband I'm just going to where that notch is it's a little notch I'm just going to snip it up and then you can fold over your seam allowance like so so when you fold it in half you have less bulk so one will go one side one will go the other side and we're just going to fold it seams together right sides outwards wrong sides together with our cuffs ready to go onto the sleeves so put them to one side and we'll work on the sleeves so we've got our two sleeves two notches that shows it's the back of the sleeve and one notch shows it's the front of the sleeve and then we've also got our shoulder point notch as well. So we're just going to put right sides together and pin the underarm seam. And we're just going to sew one centimetre seam allowance on both underarm seams. going to do our gathering stitches and we have a notch there and a notch there and we're going to do two rows of gathering stitches all the way around between the notches so set your machine stitch to the longest stitch stitches done. I've just used a contrasting thread. I'm just going to put my pin in that notch so I can kind of know where halfway around the sleeve is. sleeve has got to fit the width of the cuff oh no I gave my heart away went a bit too far so wrong oh no open up my soul but babe how could I know
Okay, so I've got both cuffs pinned to the sleeves, so I'm just going to stitch one centimetre seam allowance. I'm just going to use my overlocker, but you can just use whichever method you've been using throughout the tutorial. I'm just going to go over to the machine and stitch these on. So there's our cuffs on and we just need to take the gathering stitches out. Okay, so there's the gathering stitches out and our sleeve cuffs on and a cute gathered sleeve. Love these sleeves. And uh, next we are going to add the sleeves to the t-shirt. So that's the next step. So we've got our t-shirt and I've got my right side of the t-shirt facing and I'm just gonna match up my one notch with my one notch on my sleeve. So right sides together, underarm seam of your t-shirt with the underarm seam of your sleeve pinned together. Match up your notch. Oh no, I gave my heart away. Went a bit too far. So wrong. Oh no, open up my soul. But babe, how could I know? You're cold. And just pin all the way around and do the same for the other sleeve and then we're gonna you guessed it go to the sewing machine and sew them in and then all we've got to do after that is the hem Just give it one more press. And then we have our t-shirt with gathered sleeves. So yeah, so that's it. That's today's tutorial on how to make the cute t-shirt, a bonus t-shirt from the Nell t-shirt dress sewing pattern. And uh, if you've made yourself one, please let me know in the comments box below. And uh, yeah, if you need to access the tutorials for the other three options, then they will all be in the card above there. So you can just choose whichever option you want and you've got your very own tutorial to go along with it. But until the next time, thanks for joining me today and happy sewing.